Hello and welcome to the, another vlog. Today is Monday. I'm getting married on Saturday. <laughs> it is um, 4.30. It's been a busy, really busy day. Um, mostly today's kind of like my last full day of work. So I have just been working my ass off trying to get everything ready for me to be gone for a week so that nobody fucking bothers me while I'm gone. That is the dream. And that is basically in a good spot for the moment. So I would thought I would take the moment now to wash my extensions. If you saw the last vlog, then you know I'm hoping to wear these extensions for my wedding. But they're brand new and I've never washed them before. And I've, I'm an extension newbie, so I didn't know this, but apparently there's like a sheen that's on them or like whatever that makes them kind of plasticky and difficult to style. So my hairdresser told me I should wash them before the big day. So we're gonna wash our extensions today. <laughs> <laughs> this is so funny. Look at them. Just um, <laughs> just my hair drying. <laughs> yeah, I blow dry them to be like maybe 50% dry. Some are drier than others, but I figured air drying is probably best. And now they're clean. So I will check on them honestly in like probably 12 to 15 hours. Yeah, that's when I'll probably be taking my next shower. I have just printed out our guest book explainer. I feel like I may have explained this on the vlog, but I can't remember. So for our guest book, we're doing Jenga blocks, like empty Jenga blocks that people can sign. So I'll have this little thing in a frame next to it. And it says, take a Jenga block, leave a note in your names. We'll remember today, every night we play games. So people are meant to sign them. Beethoven, <laughs> write nice things on them. I don't know, whatever you write in a guest book. And then we'll have little buckets for people to put the blocks in. I just ordered uh, our poster that tells people where to sit. Seating? chart but it's not really like a chart i don't know anyway we're just being basically making a big fucking poster that says sit here um with people's names on the tables i ordered that so i will be picking that up at the kinko's in new hampshire on wednesday when we land so yeah now i am considering what luggage i want to bring i am literally looking at the american airlines like how large can your personal item and carry-on be? Personally, I have a huge phobia of checking bags. Um, when I was a little girl, we would travel to California a lot to visit my family from New Hampshire, and we lost our bags all the time. I don't know why, and often while we were flying through Chicago, which is what I'm doing on Wednesday, we are flying through Chicago. So, I mean, we have like a somewhat okay layover. It's one hour, but I've just lost my bag so many times as a kid that I, as an adult, never ever check a bag unless it's a direct flight and I don't necessarily care about where I'm going. Otherwise, I have literally survived for like a two week trip in a carry-on. My parents are the exact same way, probably for the exact same reason. So. I have a lot of crap to bring with me on this trip and ideally it would be better if I checked a bag. Mario is checking a bag because he doesn't have the childhood uh, trauma of losing bags that I have. I'm not so I'm just trying to find like the absolute biggest pieces of luggage that I can bring with me on the airplane. Is anyone else crazy like me or is everyone normal and checks their fucking bags? Okay I think I am gonna start packing. Some of these bags will do. This is what I do for every trip. I make a little mini itinerary with each day, what the weather's gonna be, what my like rough plans for the day are, and therefore what outfits I will need. And then based off of that, I make my packing list. By the way, even with all that preparation, I always forget something. Fortunately, the most important thing is my wedding dress and my mom has that, so that'll be her fault if we forget it. <laughs> All my clothes, uh, extra shoes, accessories. Oh, my purse, fuck. Okay, purse will have to go in the carry-on. Jewelry, toiletries, makeup, all of that is in here. So this is what I'm trying to pass off as my personal item. It's like one inch big in each direction for the dimensions from the American Airlines website, but I'm really hoping it'll be okay because I still have to pack my laptop, my chargers, wallet, keys, sunglasses, COVID kit, water bottle, medication, my veil, our wedding rings, my bridesmaids gifts, all of the stuff for our wedding basically. All has to go in here and that's a lot. <laughs> I really hope they let me use this as a personal item. Ugh. Okay, let's start with wedding stuff so that we at least get that packed. <laughs> Okay, I just gotta finish packing tomorrow. My capacity for packing brain has 
fully extended itself and I have so many emails to answer right now. Dinner. Since we're leaving Wednesday morning, um, basically Tuesday night, I didn't go grocery shopping this week. And this week is all about eating whatever I can find in my pantry. So I had half a cucumber left over and I always have like a bunch of different types of beans. <laughs> so I air fried some chickpeas over some rice. I always have rice in my pantry with half a cucumber that I had left over and some hummus, which I always have hummus in the fridge. Normally, if I was gonna make this chickpea hummus bowl, I would have cucumber, but I would also have avocado and like Greek seasoning, maybe some tahini. But like I said, it's all about eating what's in the fridge. So I'll probably be hungry in like an hour. Okay, let's see your wedding shirt and shoes. Oh, well, the shirt's really nothing fancy. The shoes are a little fancy. Since 1850, so you know they're good. I like those fine. They look great. Oh, you? Yeah. yeah. I actually like the, um, like this pattern. I just don't, I'm not, no, not on the toe. That. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with it. I mean, I, I tried on a few different shoes and had a hard time finding the shirt. Why? Because I have a lot of neck, like my... <laughs> <laughs> Really, it's what it is. Like my neck to body ratio is off. <laughs> you, gotta, you, you got a thick neck. I got a thick neck. I do. <laughs> so like all the like, this is a small. Right. Like a slim small. Right. This is not. It's like an XXL. <laughs> <laughs> so because like normally and also like I think my maybe my arms are short because all the shirts were like kind of a little too long in the sleeves. Good morning. Um. So this hasn't been a problem for me in a long time, but I have a light insomnia. I've been doing really good about it, but I think I had, I actually have no idea what caused this, but I slept three hours last night from 10 p.m. to 1 a.m. I woke up at 1 a.m. to go to the bathroom and I could not go back to bed no matter how hard I tried. So at 4 a.m. I gave up and now it is 5 a.m. and I'm at the gym because might as well get this shit out of the way because I have a feeling it's gonna be a rough day ahead. Um, because it's been a really long time since I've gotten less than five hours of sleep. I mean, I'll be okay. I really, I know it's cause I'm like anxious for what's to come this week and I'm excited. That's probably the cause. Um, it's annoying. It's obviously not very good for my immune system to be not sleeping like that. And my immune system is my top priority right now. So anyway, I'm at the gym. So hopefully I can take a nap. But anyway, let's go to the gym. I'm alone at the gym, completely alone. <laughs> like the person at the front desk isn't even here yet. <laughs> to go take my pills and I remembered that I wanted to ask on the blog just in case anyone out there who watches this has ever gone through this. Um, I'm on my last pack of birth control before I'm going off forever, hopefully. We'll see what happens. I've been on it since I was 15. So 15 straight years of birth control pills. And I'm kind of terrified for what's gonna happen when I go off. I've heard really great things like that a lot of girls like felt better, but none of those girls have been on it for as long as I've been on it. So anyway, I was just reminded I wanted to mention this in a vlog. I am on my last month of birth control pills. So not that we're like trying to have a baby like right away or anything, but the point is what do I need to be prepared for mentally coming off these pills? Does anyone have any experience? Please, I would actually love to hear it. Hey Tobin. Hi buddy. Hey Tobin, your favorite toy is working. This one says your name on it, buddy. This is our signature drink. I'm on my way to go get my wedding nails. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Let's go get our wedding nails. Before. They're done. I know I, sh I got some clip swallows in there, but holy fuck, I'm obsessed. It's just a French manicure. Just a casual French manicure with pearls as the tips. Oh, it looks so good. And then on my ring finger is the wedding date. It looks so good. I'm fucking obsessed. Like, they look so good. Like, when I go like this. I just love this concept. Oh my God. The only tricky part is now that I am getting a spray tan later today. And I want to make sure that the tan 
doesn't get like in between all the pearls so um I gotta like cover it cover my nails with lotion because yeah that would be no good having a really bad hair day but a really good nail day <laughs> just took a bunch of pictures for Instagram if you're not following me already you should go follow me on Instagram okay I will see you next probably when I'm getting my spray tan bye okay I'm so obsessed with my manicure still it's much later I am about to go get sugared and bronze that is the name of the location and that is literally what's gonna happen to me I'm about to be so anxious about this spray tan. I get spray tans all the time. But this is my fucking wedding spray tan. It's like sometimes they fuck shit up and it's like whatever, I get spray tans literally all the time. So if something gets messed up, it doesn't usually bother me. But this is my wedding spray tan and my dress is completely backless. If you saw that vlog where I showed my dress. So fuck ups are not allowed. It is 96 degrees outside right now and like you're really not supposed to sweat after a spray tan. So that's making me anxious. I'm just gonna blast the AC. I have five minutes before my appointment. I'm literally just gonna get as cold as possible. Well, I'm getting sugared first, but still. See you when I'm tan. Okay, the tan is on. It's been on now for about two hours. I'm gonna let it sit for like another hour and a half before I rinse it off and go to bed. Fingers crossed I go to bed. We have to wake up at 3 a.m. to get our asses to the airport on time. So, this will be my last clip of the day as this camera needs to go in my bag. Next time I see you, I'll be at the airport as my wedding. Oh my god, I'm so... I am just... I'm just excited at this point. Like, there's nothing else that I can be nervous about. It just... Whatever happens, happens. It's out of my hands at this point, and I just hope that we have a good time. See you tomorrow. Bye, baby. I love you. Goodbye. Bye, bubby. Bye, bubba. I know. We're in the airport. Let's Fucking go! Okay, we got to New Hampshire yesterday. So much was going on, I forgot to film, but it is now. Thursday and it's time for me to start prepping all the stuff I need to bring to the venue this morning. So these are all the boxes I shipped to my neighbor's house <laughs> and uh, let's open them up. These are all the extra pairs of flip flops that I'm gonna put in a basket by the dance floor so ladies with heels can change into flip flops. As someone who never wears my heels through a reception, this was important to me to have. <laughs> Our guest book and the bowls for people to put them in. I bought a disposable camera to go at every single table. A cocktail menu. Guest book explainer. <laughs> table numbers. Extra shoes for the ladies while dancing. Do you want to put maybe the- Take a little video of my favors. See how clear that was? Yeah, Dad, say hi. Oh. You're hi. very popular in my videos, by the way. Everyone always comments on you and how funny you are. You were the star of the last video, as a couple of comments said. Hello, I am about to get ready to go to a Red Sox game. I've continued to get absolutely no sleep for the last few nights, and um, I'm not feeling so great. That's the update. It's my outfit for the Red Sox. I don't own any. Red Sox stuff anymore since I haven't lived in New England in like 12 years. But this looks Red Sox-ish. I mean, come on. It's from Disneyland. But here, let me see if I can find a mirror. Is this a... No, that's a rock and roll thing. I don't know sports. 